Free math, lesson 34, multiply by 5, multiply by 10. When we multiply by 5, it's how many times you're adding a 5. 5 times 4 is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. We have 4 of them, see? 5 times 4 is 20. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 20. 5 times 8 means you have 8 fives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All these fives added up together are the same thing as 5 times 8. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 plus 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 5 is 40. It's a lot easier to do it this way. The numbers that you multiply together are called factors. The answer is called a product. The five times table skip counts by fives. Starting with 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. These are fun to say. They're also an easy times table to learn and you should make some flashcards and quiz yourself or have a family member or a friend quiz you so that you can memorize these. Here's the 10 times table. Here's a problem for the 10 times table. 10 times 3 means we have a 10 three times. 10, 10, and 10. It's the same thing as saying 10 plus 10 plus 10. 10 times 10 is 30. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. We have a 10 three times. See? That's how many times we had the 10. 10 times 6 means we have a 10 six times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 times 6 is 60. It's the same thing as saying 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. That's also 60. Here's the 10 times table. They're fun too. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120. Try to memorize these too so that if someone says, what's 10 times 8? You can say 80 really quick. Being good at your times table will save you time when you're doing math in class or with homework. A multiple of 10 is any product, which is the answer in times table, it's any product that has 10 as one of its factors. Remember, a factor is the number that you multiply together. So if 10 is one of these that you multiply together, then it's a multiple of 10. Okay? Look at my little sign right here. These are the factors, and that's the product. These can also be called the multiplicand and the multiplier, but most people call them the factors and the product. The product is the answer. Okay? So that's multiplying by 5 and multiplying by 10. You should try to practice these as much as possible so that you can become very quick with them. When you're doing harder math, like division and eventually getting into algebra, if you've got your times table memorized, you'll go very quick. Let's look at skip counting really fast. Let's skip count by 5s. We've got 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We jumped every fifth one. Count to five, and that's where you stop. Count to five, that's where you stop. When you're skip counting by tens and doing multiples of ten or the ten times table, we jump to the tens, see? We don't stop in the between here. We go 10, 20, 30. That's much quicker, isn't it? So that's how the skip counting would go. The 5 is right in between the 10. See? The 10 is skipping every other 5. If you look at the answers for the 10 times table compared to the answers for the 5 times table, you can see 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. But it's got the fives in between there, see? The tens don't have that. They all end in a zero, see? If you look at this, 10 times 1 
is a 1 with a 0. 10 times 2 is a 2 with a 0. They all go that way. Look at 10 times 6 is a 6 with a 0. 10 times 9 is a 9 with a 0. I've got some very cute tricks for the 9 times table. If you look in my tricks folder for Joanne's school, there's a math tricks folder. And you can do the 9 times table on your hands. And there's even a fun way to get the answers for the 9's time table by adding the answer together to itself. But we'll be doing the 9's a little bit later. Right now, it's really important that you memorize these, okay? Not just the answer, you've got to know the factors too. You have to know that 5 times 9 is 45, okay? You're doing fine. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video.